Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do work one of the null bending stitches. Um, I'm working with a wool yarn that is a sport weight and sport is a bit thinner than a double knit and I prefer to use it for null bending work because I find it's not as heavy as the double knit because you're you're knitting several amounts, several loops that crisscross each other and it can really get really quite thick to handle. Um, null bending is a bit like crochet but worked in the opposite direction. You pick up new stitches from the bottom from the previous row like so and you form the stitches around your thumb with a needle. So you have a large needle, you have the yarn that's wrapped around your thumb and then you form the loops where crochet you, you form the loops around the crochet hook and you work from right to left. In this direction, we're making working from left to right. So I'm doing uh, what's called a mummin stitch, and a mummin is also called a finish one plus two, and I like to remember it because it's one loop that you have on your thumb that you're working with, and then you're picking up two loops from behind your thumb as you work the stitches. So to start, you put your needle into the first new loop on the previous row, you pick up two loops from the back of the needle, and then you rotate your needle around this way, backwards, and you come back through the loop that's on your thumb. So you pick up one new loop, two loops from behind your thumb, and then you rotate the needle and slip it through all of the loops. So again, pick up new stitch, drop, drop the previous one. Pick up the new stitch, pick up the stitch you just dropped and the other one behind your thumb and then turn the needle this way. So you're coming back into the to the opposite direction. New stitch, the loop behind your thumb and the second loop behind your thumb, rotate the needle and come back through. New loop, two loops from behind the needle, New loop, as you look back here you will see that there's several loops that are remaining uh, at the back of the work and for some of the other complicated null bending stitches you'd be picking up two or three or multiple of these stitches and then pulling through. For the mum and stitch, we are only picking up the first two. So continuing on, new loop, loop one, loop two, and a loop on the needle. Or loop on the thumb, rather. Slip that off. Pick up new stitch, loop one, loop two, and turn back and come back through. <laughs> 